Avengers, Kimara Zero One, moving to Phase Four. Repeat, confirmation of a chain of spirit disasters. Kimara Zero One, moving to Phase Four. The new A's running away. He's all yours. Okay, I'm on it. Come on. Irisa, get these kids to a safe zone now. Yes, sir. Miyachi, you handle the rest. Get going, would ya? Good luck. What the? If you want to dry out the new way, you need Hokuto. And if you want my dragon, you're taking me. No! <laughs> you got a deal. Let's not tell Jin, though, okay? Kurahashi! <laughs> I'll be back soon. But we're not supposed to... plan to waste your power on getting around. I'm counting on you when the time comes. Oh, yes, of course! Just leave it to me! <laughs> <sighs> All right, let's go. Yes, Master! <laughs> Glad to see you're finally awake. Where's Haratora? I would say your friend is probably headed towards that as we speak. That damn idiot. There's something you should know about, Toji. I slightly loosen the seal that's been restraining your ogre. Uh, your half-ogre symptoms must be a result of my tampering. But why? So that you could learn to control the ogre inside, not just hold him back. Do you understand why I would do that? No. Because when you enrolled in this school, you made a commitment to train and become an Anmyo mage. And you have a rather unorthodox path open to you. Harnessing the power of the ogre instead of fighting to keep him at bay. 
You mean I would control it? Officer Kagami, also known as the Ogre Eater, subdues his prey, only to utilize them as a power source for his later consumption. In fact, that ability is what earned him his fierce nickname. Type Ogre Spirit Disasters. Their power can be used that way? Does that mean mine can too? Perhaps. But your doctor set up parameters for this, a stipulation for certain criteria, if you will. He required that his son be the one in control. This was the only condition he had for you. You mean Haritora? <laughs> You're going. It's too dangerous here. Move it now. All right. You'll be safe, miss. I'm gonna head back in. Looking good. Natsume? Haritora! You know that guy? Muto Bay. <clears throat> They're passing the outer gardens. What should I do? I'm on it. Hey, hold on. Wow, kid, you're a lot more gung ho than I thought. I'll send my familiars to escort you. I'll follow once I've taken care of Mutobe. Just don't do anything rash. Into the sky, jump! <laughs> Khan, do you see Natsume? So you're Mutobe. You're a Beechna sword. We don't have to do this if you don't want. You can still walk away. Stop the bike! I want to get off! Put your hands, Haritora! What are you trying to do, you freaking pro? I'm not trying to do anything! Hokuto! Okito, take me with you, all right? Khan, I need you to come, too. I'm on it! You can count on me, Master! <gasps> Promise you'll be careful! Your right is here. The Tsuchimikado family familiar Yukikaze. Natsume's father somehow knew you would need him tonight. He reads the stars very well. Must have had a hunch that the horse would be required. You can read the stars to determine a half-ogre's fate? You're right, he must be really good. Hold on! Toji!
Hey. <laughs> Listen, I wasn't sure how I felt after I found out. I was afraid I wouldn't be able to act the same around you anymore. Sometimes I can be a little bit awkward about stuff like that, you know? But everything's fine. I mean, you're still just Toji. Half ogre or not. Thanks, man. Can you give this to Harutora? I'm betting he's going to need it. Sure. You have my word. That's good enough for me. <laughs> you know, I've heard all about you. Rumor has it you're really fast. Well, don't hold back. Let's see what kind of speed you've got. <laughs> Accept it. To face this head on. I have friends that will help me. Friends that will always be by my side. I'm not scared of you, Ogre. I refuse to be afraid of my future. I can feel my blood boiling. The Ogre's raging. All right. I'll show you how to focus your anger. Something wrong, Half Ogre? All that power you had yesterday is gone? <sighs> like it or not, looks like we're stuck with each other for a while. son of all the world pierce through the mantras through space and time themselves. May he traverse the very heavens to move the hand of the creator. Ki, Ki, please hear our prayer. Now, by the power and benevolence of the creator, heaven's fury, purify this evil miasma! Purification! 
It worked? Yeah, you're number one! You vacation celebration time! For real? I'm sorry, but my power's all used up. Uh, oh, thank God. The timing was flawless, if I do say so myself. Toji, why are you riding Yuki Kaze? Are those horns? Pretty cool, right? Yeah, man, not bad. The amateurs pulled it off. Ah, the irony. That was one hell of a display. And now the rumors about Natsume Tsuchimikado will gain even more ground, and Yako's followers will be re-energized. Can't believe we never thought of taming the ogre. Yeah, well, this whole ogre power thing is just a trial run, no telling what might happen next time. <laughs> What's the matter, Mr. Cool? You afraid of a little work? Big talk from a guy who just got smacked around. And if I lose control as an ogre, remember, you're top candidate for getting eaten first. If you're as late then as you were today, no worries. <laughs> Seriously, though, today was a little crazy, wasn't it? This morning, all I could think about was the exam to move up to the next grade. Yeah, right? I guess it's like they say, every cloud has a silver lining. Silver lining? What silver lining? Stupid toy. Being half-ogre sucks, but because of it, I met you. Which makes me feel a little grateful for the lame-ass thing. Did you look at that? Toji's getting all sentimental on me now. Nah, I think you must have hit your head. Anyone have a tissue for poor sweet little Toji? We should just stay out of their way. Huh? Of course I know that! But I... I still feel a little jealous. Yeah, right? I wish I could connect with him like that. <laughs> It's no fair. They make it look so easy. Something different about that half-ogre. Somehow this reminds me of Dairenji's crazy little experiment. I can practically smell it on him. That's no ordinary ogre in there. <laughs> That's great. Seriously the best. Guess it'll be faster to just let it take over. Sounds fun. Always pay attention to your surroundings, no matter what. Didn't they teach you that on the first day of training? Pretty sneaky for a man with one leg, Shadow. It has been a while, hasn't it, Ogre Eater? So, how's the retired life treating you? It gives me time for hobbies, like taking nighttime walks. But I like to keep busy, you know, so I decided to try my hand at teaching. I'm back at Omnio Prep. <clears throat> Is that so? Maybe I should pay you a little visit one day. You seem to have some very interesting students. Yes, but sadly, you won't have the time. You'll be far too busy. I imagine it will take you quite a while to break through all of these spells. What are you talking about? While you were busy making those thinly veiled threats, I was casting a litany of spells I thought you might find diverting. And they're all spells you'll need to look up in ancient documents if you hope to break them. You're just bluffing! That kind of fake out is wasted on me, Four Eyes. I've known you too long for it to work. And what have you learned about me in that time? You know what kind of person I am. Think back to your training. Remember how I always made you go with me to the harshest battles whenever it was possible? I wanted you to witness the links I would go to should the situation ever force my hand. You've also known me long enough to realize that even if 90% of what I've said is a bluff, ignoring the other 10% could still prove costly. But you knew all that, didn't you now? Well, have fun with your research if you choose to go that route. I certainly wouldn't try to dispel anything I don't understand. Oh, and Kagami, remember this. While there is still life in my body, you will not lay a finger on my students. <clears throat> so first I find a half-ogre kid in the possible reincarnation of Yako, and now I get to laugh in the face of death. Not a bad day. <laughs> I can't wait. One of these days you'll screw up, and then I'm gonna knock you down a peg or two. Come on, then. There's no need to wait. <sighs> right, let's leave it at that, Jen. <clears throat> Zenjiro, what were you thinking letting an amateur do your job? So, did you take Mutobe into custody? <clears throat> well, he died. What? We're not sure yet, but it seems he used a suicide spell. You constantly take it too easy on your opponents. Wait, you mean he's always been like this? Yes, I'm afraid that's forever been the case. Why is talking trash about me the only time you guys agree? <coughs> so you sense it too? 
It can't be. Did they open up the streets again? Oh, Master Horator, be on guard! I was planning on retrieving a little bit of its essence, but your successful exorcism means I won't find a trace. No point crying over spilt milk. After all, you did let me enjoy myself tonight. I'm looking forward to it all. But the anticipation is killing me. You're all still just baby chicks in this world, freshly hatched, completely unaware. You should study diligently. And when you're finished with that, perhaps we'll find a place for you. But we don't know who you are! Then let me introduce myself. I'm Doman Ashia. What the? Freaky. I don't know what just happened. It can't be. We have to find help. In humble supplication, I offer up myself as a sacrifice to the Taizen Fukun God of the Afterlife. Brother Mutobe, thank you for your hard work. Please leave the rest to me.